Hi, I'm Joshua, and you're watching Taped with Rabbi Doug. We're gonna see Rabbi Doug. We're gonna see Rabbi Doug. We're gonna see Rabbi Doug on your TV tonight. But Daddy, I want to watch Monday Night Football. Forget about Monday Night Football. There's no other thing we're gonna watch on Monday but Rabbi Doug. Yeah, Rabbi Doug on TV tonight. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. Oh, everybody talk about Doug. Shalom and welcome to Taped with Rabbi Doug. Glad you could be with us today. My guest today is Rabbi Ben Sion Barami. He is the director of the Haile? Haile. 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 Haile uh, Alternative Medicine School in Israel. What is Haile? Haile. The letter He is for me. Oh. Ah. Uh, he. Lee to yes, me. Yes. I see. And you, you're from Israel. You came here from Mexico City, I understand. Yes. You're traveling around the world. What are you doing in your travels besides talking about Jewish healing? Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to everywhere where there are Jewish people all over the world. I was in Australia. I was in uh, Hong Kong. I was in South Africa. And uh, recently I came back from uh, Mexico. I'm here in Chicago. Next week in Washington, after that to Antwerp, Belgium, oh boy, oh boy. and after that I'll go to hug my wife. Oh, very nice. <laughs> now, you are uh, a scribe, a sofer, and uh, you are a, uh, from a Yemenite family of scribes. For over 500 years there have been sofrim in your family, uh, I yes, understand. Yes, exactly. We have documents from each generation. And uh, it's uh, in our family that we transfer it from generation to generation. In Hebrew, we say midor le door. In English, it sounds like from door to door. From generation but, to generation. <laughs> generation to generation. So uh, when I was last, like six years old, our family was very, very poor. We have nothing to eat. In, in Yemen? In, in Israel. You were in Israel The already. 50. The, uh, the, when did your family come to Israel from 1930. Yemen? 1930. Were they on one of the airlifts from Yemen? Uh, no, they, they, they came uh, by foot. By foot. Yes, wow. by foot, by, by foot, by donkeys, by the... Uh, wow, wow. Yeah, wow. after that. And uh, I remember when I was six years old, and at that time, very hard time, I always daven to Hashem, and I told him, I wish I have a treasure that I can find, that I can give it something to my family. Then one day, I... I Close my eyes and I said to Hashem, Hashem, you hear me? Suddenly I heard a voice behind me. Yes, I hear you. It was my father. <laughs> he asked me, what's happened? What, what did you ask? I said, I wish that we have treasure. Then he went and hugged me and told me, look, we have a treasure in our family. We transfer it from generation to generation. I thought about jewelry, about what's the treasure. And he went and he opened very old box, like you see here, and he opened it. And what did he took something from there? It was a feather. He told me, this is our treasure. The quill. I, I told him, what, this, this is a magical uh, feather that uh, we can bring food to our home? He said, no, we are 20 generations of scribes and you are going to be a scribes yeah. and we are holding the secret of the holy letters did you get your kabbalah uh, your certification in in being a sofer a scribe from your father from my father and from uh, the misrada datot in uh, israel uh, from uh, the chief rabbis in uh, israel uh, yes uh -huh, uh -huh. yes so this is amazing for for 500 years. So exactly, many and we have documents from every generation. Now it's I, I understand that you're the director of the Holy Script Museum and the Otli Olam Research Institute. What is the difference between the Haley and the Otli Olam? Uh, Otli Olam, the letter forever. The letters uh -huh. are eternal. It's really, there is connection, and it starts with the letters. Uh -huh. Because my father told me, Bereshit bara Elohim S. Aleph Taf. Through, Aleph, Aleph through Taf. taf. Those the are the, the raw material of the world. At Petachlo. At Petachlo, uh, exactly. From the, from the then Hanana. he told me, this is the letters, those are the 
channels of energy. And when I heard channel of energy, it was always in my mind what the channel of energy of those letters that Hashem created with them, the word. Now you're teaching a Jewish energy healing workshop. Yes. Now is this based on healing and Jewish energy from some kind of Kabbalistic use of the Hebrew letters in the Hebrew language? Absolutely, yes. We deal with Kabbalah. Always we start with the ten Sfirot. We have the ten Sfirot, we have Keter, Chokhmah, Bina. We have the, the crown, we have the ten sfirot. After we learn how those ten sfirot, those are in our physical body, like chesed and gvura, those are our right hand and left hand. If added, this is our, our heart, netzach, eternity, hold, glory. All these design, this on our body. Let me show this to our audience. This is the design that he is showing here on camera three, if we could. And uh, each of these words, each of these um, uh, 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 this, expressions and meanings have a special order, which has to do with what you're talking about, Kabbalistic, right? Yes. All those uh, uh, power sources of energy in our physical body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So one day, after I learn about the Ten Sfirot, one day I found a very interesting thing that I show that I can compare between them. They call that in Let's the world, again. they call them chakra, source mm -hmm. of energy. And I saw connection between those two. And I said, oh, all the world learns about what we have in our sources. So whenever we make healing, we, we are collecting the the light from Hashem through the Sfirot that they are in our physical body. And it's amazing because you can see here that we can like take pictures of our aura. Mm -hmm. You know that? Absolutely. Oh, these are, I've seen aura yes. pictures before. This is an okay. aura picture if we look and at And I the want again. to share with you a very, very interesting thing. You can see here one picture of the aura of a man that wearing tefillin, but it's a little Take a bit look at this one. It, a, a little bit dark. You're right, but here you can see it's white, white. You know what's the difference? On on your right hand, these which is the left of our audience. Are, okay. Yes, my right okay. to their left. Yes. Okay, that's the uh, a, a man wearing tefillin non kosher. Mm -hmm. After he switch. To take the kosher tefillin, and after he was in mikveh, look at the difference. You this is a, this is a true story. That's reality. This is reality. The person, no, you you can, the person on the left of the screen, which is in my right hand, is wearing tefillin that are not kosher, and he has a dark aura. Once he put on tefillin with pro proper parchments in it, yes. that is kosher. After he the also mikveh. went to the mikveh, also exactly. into the ritual you'll bath that, to purify him, him, himself ritually. The aura becomes white. You're right. You can, you can measure that today. I, I want to do this myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is, a, this okay. is quite amazing. This is quite amazing. <laughs> okay, but I, you can check Tvilin uh, with this, but uh, uh, you have another rules how to uh, check uh, the Tvilin, uh, uh, not according the aura. That's, that's amazing. The aura, the aura also this word in Hebrew, or. Mm -hmm. like and what's refuah? Refuah is healing. Is healing, but in Hebrew, refuah is po or. Here there is light. Uh -huh. That's the word refuah. If you mix the letters around. Yes. Resh, pei, vav, alef, hey. These exactly like two words. Po, pei, hey, alef, vav, resh. Uh -huh. So whenever we deal with healing, we deal with light. Even the word rofe, doctor. Inside the word rofe, you have the word or. Uh -huh. Alef, vav, resh, it's inside. Yes, that's true. Also, arucha, umarpe. Arucha in Hebrew is also you have a the meal. word arucha a meal? Uh, no, what, what no, no, arucha. What word? Arucha. I see he speaks Vardita. <laughs> in, uh, in our prayers every uh, day. Okay, okay. uh -huh. Refaenu Hashem and Rafe Osher Nivasha Va Ale Arucha Umarpe Lechol Ta Arucha. Inside there mm -hmm. it will be there is the word or so, uh -huh. or everything with healing will we deal with light. Now tell me something. We're talking about because we have a lot of skeptics out there. We're talking about physical healing and 
Mental, emotional healing, both? Yes. <coughs> they are connected. Mm -hmm. You know the word melech? What's king, melech? King. A king. Som tasim alecha melech. You have to be a melech, king. Melech is moah. Mm -hmm. Mem for moah, mind. mind. Lamed is for heart, lev. Lev. And half is for kaved, uh -huh. her liver. Mm -hmm. You know, our mind, all whatever we do in our life, it is connected to our mind. If you can control your thought, like it said, according to Chazal, what it said there, Hakol holech ahar hamachshava. So everything, if you worry, you start to feel something in Second. your body. Mm -hmm. If you if you are in tension, you know what we say tension in Hebrew? We say tension, metah. Mem taf het. You know mem taf? What is mem taf? Meta. Met. Dead. Meta. If somebody wants to kill himself, I don't know if it's good to say, I can save him money. <laughs> I don't have, he don't have to, to buy, uh, he can be in tension. He will uh -huh. kill himself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If he will be in Daga, the same. Uh -huh. If he will be in Kaas, anger, anger. anger, the same. So you have short way if you want to kill, to kill yourself. Why, why this happened? Because whenever we have those negative thoughts, we break our aura. When we break our aura, we destroy our aura. Because the aura, this is the protection of our physical body. Like it said, you know, with the spies, when they went to, to Israel, the ten spies, they said, no, we are not going to fight against them. No, they are giants. Yeshua and Caleb said, don't worry. You know what we say, don't worry, be happy. Now it changed. Be Jewish. <laughs> okay. Now, don't worry. Be Jewish. Look at them. Sar tzilam me'alehem. Vehashem itanu al tiraum. What sar tzilam? Uh, their shadow, the meaning of shadow, there's protection. Their protection, it's no more on them. So even they are giant, they are... So what, uh, what's happened? They're, they have no shadow. They have no aura. So, uh -huh. you understand. No aura, no physical. Uh -huh. that's, the, that's the point. And also we can say, see that in the end of Kohelet. I glass is... It's quite... <laughs> okay. <It's st> <laughs> I know it. Uh, okay, okay. Kohelet, yes. Well, uh, that we, that we, we just read in Sukkot, on Sukkot. Uh -huh. At the end, Ecclesiastes. It's, thank you, Ecclesiastes. Okay, thank you. I, think, I think a Kohelet also. Ecclesiastes. Uh, I tried this twenty-five years, and I don't know how to pronounce uh, it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that it's written there about by the, King Solomon, the, yes, and it's written there what will be at the the last days of a person that he will be a hundred and twenty years. And it's written in then about a silver cord that's connected to Hashem. The last day, it will be snap. We understand. There is also a bow inside, inside the Kabbalah. There is Or Hapnimi and Or Hamakif. There is light that we have inside and there is light outside. So the Kabbalah and healing, they are one. When we talk about Zohar, Zohar is light. You know that every word in Hebrew, hey, resh, this light. So when we deal with healing, we deal with light. So all the concept of healing is inside our Zohar inside our Kabbalah. Okay, so let me, let me go back and, and play devil's advocate for the moment if I could. I'm a sick person. Yes. I'm coming to you, Rabbi, and I'm saying, Rabbi, help me find ways to heal myself. I, obviously, you're not a miracle worker. You don't heal people, but no. you teach them ways to heal themselves. Yes. What can I do to heal myself 
from this terminal disease that I have to heal refuat uh, nefesh refuat guf. Exactly. How do I heal my my soul and my body at the same time? What can I do? Okay. Now you know where where there is problem inside, or let's say our stomach. I don't ask you what you eat. I ask you what something eat yourself from inside. Mm-hmm. That's the point that I start. I start to ask you how you behave in your life. You have something that you worry at your job. Maybe you are going to lose your job. I start like that. We think about your feeling. That's very important. Before I start to make healing, I start to make interview that you will understand that the problem is not there. The problem is outside in so your there's mind. So there's that famous book, Why Bad Things Happen to Good People, written by a reform rabbi. Okay. Why bad things happen to good people. What about the good people? What about the people who aren't do, you know, the wrong things inside them? What about the people that get, that get sick that don't have those wrong things inside them that are really pure nishamot, that are pure souls, and, and, and they still get sick, you know, what can they do for healing? I, I, you know, we don't know. Like when we deal with healing, we deal like about 90, 95%. You ask me about, about the, the exception. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a good answer. It's a very okay. good answer. It's a very good answer. Let me, let me take it another step. Um, you brought a, a number of things from, from, from Safrut. You brought, yeah, a, that I, I a brought parchment some, here. Yeah, Tell my, me about these and why you brought them and what significance do they have to our show today? Yes, that to tell you about the, uh, the tra- our tradition, how my father wrote the Sefer Torah in Yemen, mm-hmm. originally from Yemen. This was a Torah scroll? The Torah, yeah. There's a parashat ha-shavu'ayr. Vayera elav Hashem be'elonei mamrev u'yoshev petah ha'el v'chomayom. This is exactly what can you I have. Show, can I show this on the screen? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what kind of parchment is this? This is very yeah, the, thick the, parchment, the, the, the same parchment that we know much but thinner. this is another process, the uh-huh. same parchment. This is not w- where it's where it's whited out like it is. Yes, here. that's. Uh, and this would be kosher for a Torah, also written on this. No, n- now, no, because there are letters. Missing. No, no, I'm not talking about this one. Absolutely. I'm talking about using parchment yes, like this. Absolutely, this a Torah scroll could be written on. This is really leather. It feels like leather. It yes, doesn't feel like yes. parchment. You know, you know, when I I, I was in Snoche, Snoche is that uh, in. Can uh, I show Amsterdam. the other parchment there? Can I show yes. the other parchment? You can hear also the parchment. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Here's, here's a, a, a modern piece of parchment that we use now for Torah scrolls. Yes. But the old uh, Sifre Torah, they were exactly like you have before. Really? Yeah. In Holland, in Amsterdam, in a very old uh, synagogue, the Snoche there, it's called the Sephardic. You know there is no light there. Mm-hmm. They are very old. Almost all the Sifre Torah are made from like parchment like this, what you're holding now. Wow. Stay tuned. Taped with Rabbi Doug will be right back. I'm Rabbi Jay Carson from Jerusalem. And I'm Rabbi Nate Ruby Ray Carson from Jerusalem. And you're, you're watching, watching Tape with, with Rabbi, Rabbi Doug. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine in these turbulent times let us not erode our liberties for they make America a beacon of hope for all to see. Let it shine. 
I'm Rabbi Akiva Tetz, and you're watching Taped with Rabbi Doug. What we have here, you can see about the things, about pictures, about uh, that uh, I wrote here with the... You have Keter Malchut. You see here Keter Malchut. Mm -hmm. What you see, you see the design. But if you look carefully... They're all you Hebrew see letters. They're all Hebrew letters. All Hebrew letters, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you and say that, here. It has a Kabbalistic meaning? Absolutely, yes. Each one, each one has... Over? Yes, each one has between a hundred till through three hundred concept. Each one. You wrote these yourself? Yes. No, I usually I say the cousin of my cousin, the cousin of my cousin. I mean that's me, okay. <laughs> but it, you have to be modest. The writing, so. the writing is so small. Do you use magnifying glasses? No, <laughs> no. Amazing. You know, I, I'm small. This is beautiful. And, yeah, that the eternal Jew, Parashat Nitzavim. Everything that you have here, that you have the letter Aleph. You know the letter Aleph. When my father told me about the secret of the letter, letter Aleph, he sang a sing. You know, he told me like that. There, Yod le Mala, Yod le Mata, Vav Baemza. Okay, Yod above, Yod at the bottom, Vav in the center. So he told told me that every letter is a design, mm -hmm. and now. You have the entire I like song of songs, the entire book of song of this songs. Is the entire book of songs. Entire song of songs book, yes. Unbelievable. Entire Shira book. Shir Hashirim. <coughs> Very nice. You have there that you have here also Hashem Imachem, Maimonides. Rambam, Maimonides. Yes. Oof. Yes. What you have here, that's happiness. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You have the entire Hallel Praise and the, the fa last. Five the chapters Kevin of this the is just Halil. amazing. Show me your book. Show me you have a book with you. Oh, you've written. Yes, I I have here the book. The book it's called in Hebrew Niflaot. Niflaot. Ot Nif is a letter or a symbol. Uh -huh. Yes, and Nifla is wonderful. Uh huh. Wonderful. The letters are so wonderful. And this another book inside Mamlechet uh -huh. the kingdom of the letters. And you talk about. Uh, the the special aspects of each letter and 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 what they what they mean and what they're exactly if you if you have three three years to sit with me okay we have enough to do okay, okay. all right I'm off That's to Israel uh, <laughs> <laughs> you'll be traveling all the time we won't have that okay <laughs> okay we here we have everything that you can see all the now, the secrets have of you the yourself earth. written a, an entire Torah yourself. You know, I wrote most, more than uh, 600 Sifre Torah. More than you, 600 Sifre you Torah. You ask me how come. Every Sefer Torah that you fix, because if one letter missing... Once you fix it, it's as if it yeah, was exactly, written by yes, you from the beginning. Because one letter missing... You completed yeah, kosher. One letter missing is just like humash. Uh -huh, uh, like but if you add the letter that missing, you... Turn it to be a separate Kosher Torah. Torah. Okay, that's the point. Uh, very nice, very nice. Yes. Have, have you written one from beginning to end? No. You have not. No. Have you written uh, uh, parchments for tefillin before? Tefillin, uh, yeah, many and mezuzot, uh, mezuzot thousands. Many, thousands yes. of mezuzot. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Tell me something. Um, now, I understand that if someone is, is a sofer, a scribe, that the sofer must go to the mikveh every day before he begins to write. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, we recommend to uh -huh, do that. Uh -huh. But I don't know if every, if every scribe does, does it. Yeah. But that's we pretty. recommend it. It's not halakha, uh -huh. but it's very important to Put pure you in the yourself. spiritual right of Absolutely. frame of mind. Yeah, because when we write letters, we you know, every letter in Hebrew, you start at up and you go down. Every letter. It's not like, let's say in English, let's say you want to write the letter L or B. You start from the bottom and you go like that. Mm -hmm. But every Hebrew letter, you start up, down. The meaning of it, you are pulling light. You are pulling light to the parchment. The letters are something spiritual. And the parchment is the most physical is is a behemoth there's a kettle that that you can take it and what the concept here to combine the physical world and the spiritual world they are one like in the in the first pasuk bereshit bara elokim et both 
First Shamaim and Aretz. Shamaim and Aretz. Sky and first, you, and you make the heavens it and the earth. Yes. Uh, uh, very interesting. Very interesting. What do you, um, when you go around and you teach healing, Yes. what, what is your basic uh, message to the, to the recipients of your lectures? The, begin, the, the first thing, that you have confidence. You have confidence in yourself that Hashem gave you power. You know, if you have guests, let's say, in your house, you want that he will be happy? Absolutely, yes. We are the guests of God, of Hashem. What how Hashem wants that we behave? Absolutely, to be happy. So whenever, if we are not happy, the meaning of this, that we make to Hashem, we complain against Hashem. How come? If you are not happy, so all your life, how we say, Be'ezrat Hashem, B-H, B is busy, H is happy. Uh-huh. That's the, the secret of our life. B-H, be happy, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> That's an interesting, interesting okay. the Hebrew and English okay. connection. I like it, I like yeah, it. Yeah, Hebrew and English, you know, the English took from the Hebrew. Uh-huh. I'll give you a long speech about that. Uh-huh. Many, many words. At the beginning, the earth. Earth is Eretz. Mm-hmm. Fruit is Perot. Mm-hmm. Corner is Karen. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want, you know, okay? You have to call is a Bekol. Mm-hmm. Everything what you see, Just I have I have here also in my book uh, that I wrote many many words to see how they took many many words from our language, Amazing. and we have that. Amazing! I, I I can't thank you enough for coming to the show and sharing. Obviously, we only got a, a force based as we say in Yiddish, uh, <laughs> okay. a, a, a taste, a, a little tom okay. of, of 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 what you what you share and what you know. I, I just wish you much hatslacha, success oh, in you. all of your okay. teaching and I have, in all of your endeavors. Now I I have here in Chicago. I can go to any shul or any school. I am uh, here. I am uh, Batel. Very you, nice. They Very can nice. call me. Also, we have also. Here, uh, that you can, if you want uh, to uh-huh. write, we uh-huh. have a special, special meetings. All right, I will, I will post this on my website, and I, I'm hoping that uh, if, if our viewers are interested in more about you and Jewish healing, Jewish energy healing, I should yeah, say, and about and, the, and secret, the Hebrew letters, and the, secrets the secret of the Hebrew of letters, the letters, that the, uh, the they secret. will drop me an email, and I will forward it on to you and, and, and make that connection. I want to thank you so much for being on the show, Rabbi Ben Sion Barami from thank Israel, uh, coming and traveling around the world here to Chicago. I want to thank you, all of our viewers, for being with us. Remember, if you want to check out our website at www.tvrabbi.com, you can see our show on the internet and find out more about our show. And if you want to send me an email or have me forward on to Rabbi Bar Ami, you can send that to info at tvrabbi.com. Once again, thank you, Rabbi Ben Sion Bar Ami. Hatzlachak. Success in all your you endeavors. Too, you and too. thank you for Everybody. being with us. Hope to see you next time right here on Tape with Rabbi Doug. Shalom, everyone. Shalom. <laughs> when I'm talking about Rabbi Doug. Talking about Rabbi Doug Talking about Rabbi Doug On your TV show Well, he's the rabbi for me Anytime you need You're gonna get married or you're gonna die Gonna see Rabbi Doug Gonna see Rabbi Doug Gonna see Rabbi Doug Gonna see Rabbi Doug on the TV tonight.